we are going to build an electron application that you can control from your system tray. It's going to have a really simple menu. You will be able to use that menu to hide and show the application and also quit the application. Start by creating a new folder, simple system tray app, enter the folder and uh, start VS code with code dot. Now, as the next step, initialize a new NPM project. I'm doing that with npm init dash y. That's just going to automatically accept uh, and uh, fill out each question from the init dialog uh, of npm. As the only dependency, we're going to add electron. Now let's create the usual folder structure we use. That's a source folder and a resources folder. In the source folder, create index.js file. And that's it for the source. In the resources folder, create an index.html file. Let's uh, start maybe by creating a really simple HTML. Nothing crazy here. Maybe add a body with something like high from Electron. For this demo, the focus is not going to be on this specific interface in this HTML file, but in this system tray. Okay, switch to index.js and import the main modules from the Electron package that we are going to use. Those are app, browser window, tray, and menu. Now, the most important function that we will have is the create window function. This is where we are going to set up the browser window and create the system tray and the menu template we are going to use with the system tray. I'm not sure that uh, this has to be a sync. Probably it's, it's not needed, but we will uh, see that later. So first, as you remember, we always have to get the path to our index.html file so we can load it inside the main window. So create a const index.html path. Use the path module that we forgot to import to resolve the path to the index.html file. So that's going to be resources index.html. And also let's import the path utility module from Node.js. So you don't have to install this with npm because it's already available. As a next step, create another constant. This is going to hold our browser window. Create a new instance of browser window with the following parameters to so give for width 400 pixels. Height can be the same, 400 pixels. After this, the only thing you have to do is just load the HTML file from the path that we obtained earlier. Now to actually start this app, we are going to use the when ready lifecycle function. So when Electron is ready, just call the create window function. Then with npm start, the application should start. Okay, I just realized we forgot one thing. So go to your package.json file and as your main script, change the index.js to source slash index.js because that's the actual path to, to our main module. Now type npm start. Okay, so we forgot to add the start script. So let's fix that real quick. It is usually just electron dot. 
and start the app. So this works. We see the hi from Electron loaded in the browser window, just as our HTML5 says. Let's quit the app and let's proceed with adding the menu template and the system tray. Menu templates in Electron are really simple. They are essentially arrays and inside the array for each option of the menu, you have an object. So if I do right click here in VS Code, imagine the menu template as an array that has an object for each of these like go to definition, type definition, go to implementations. Our menu is going to be a lot more simpler. So let's create a constant menu template as an array. And here, create the first object. That's going to be high for the start. We are going to expand this later. To assign this menu template to the system tray, first you have to create a system tray. The system tray is created with the help of the tray constructor. You can do something like const tray equals new tray. Now the tray constructor accepts one parameter, that's a path to the icon that's going to represent your application in the system tray. So if you look at my system tray, I have different icons for different applications. This is for Google Drive, for Grammarly, NordVPN, etc. I already prepared two icons for this demo, a high resolution and a normal resolution icon. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the documentation that explains exactly how this works. But essentially, if you name your icons like this, so like the name of the icon.png and then the name of the icon at 1x, 2x, 3x.png, macOS, at least this is on macOS, is going to treat the .png like the normal image that has the standard resolution and it's going to treat the at 2x.png as the high resolution image. So the next step is actually to grab the path to the icon. You can do that by doing something like const icon path equals path.resolve and then the dear name and uh, dot dot resources slash electron.png because that's the name of the icon. Because of the naming convention, if the high resolution icon is available and your display is high resolution, macOS is going to load the high resolution image. Pass the icon path variable to the tray constructor. And uh, this should uh, give us a tray icon when we start the app. So as you can see, this is the high resolution image we have in the tray. When you click it, it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't added the menu to it. So let's add the simple menu that we created. First, we have to turn it into an actual electron menu object. There is a menu module that we already imported and there is also a static function called build from template on this module. Now pass to this function the menu template array that contains our menu items. This should return a context menu that has the type of electron menu. Now you can assign this context menu to the tray using tray set context menu and passing in the context menu variable. Type npm start and uh, the application should start. It should appear in the system tray just as before. And now it should have one menu item that says hi. Okay, 
close the application, we are going to add the show hide functionality. So let's modify the menu template and write hide as the ID and hide for the label. Now, every menu template object accepts a couple of these keys, ID, label, and the click key that's going to be interesting for us. Because whatever you write in click is actually called when you click that menu in the tray. Let's check that by starting the application and just clicking here on hide. As you can see, the write just appeared in my terminal. Okay, so to do a hide show functionality, let's start by adding a state variable called is hidden. It's going to be false initially. Inside our click function, we're going to say if is hidden, then show the app. And if it's not hidden, then hide the app. And after the if set is hidden to the opposite of what is hidden was. Let's see how this works when we start the application. So first, if you click hide, you can see that the application is now hidden. But if you click again the system tray, it still says hide. And if you click it, the application is not restored. So let's quit the application and fix that. Let's fix the naming first. Inside the menu template, you can actually modify the menu template. So in case when the application is already hidden and we are showing it, you can do something like menu template and then grab the first object of the template and say label that's going to point exactly to this key here and set it to hide. We can do the same thing for the else branch and say menu template first element label equals show. Now, if we did everything right and start the application again, the label of the menu should change, but it didn't. So the problem is that once you change these labels, you have to rebuild your menu and reassign it to the tray, just as we did it here, to see the change in the menu template. So let's go back to inside the click function and use the same build from template that we used earlier to build a new menu. We are going to use the same menu template. Remember, we just modified it and set it as the new context menu on the tray object. Let's quit the app, start it again. And now if we click hide and open the tray again, it will say show. Now the other problem is that the app is not showing. Actually, it is showing because if I'm showing all the apps, then you can see that it is restored. So let me just uh, hide it again. So now you don't see it. And if I click show, it is showing. The problem that it is not in focus. So we are going to fix that. After app.show, do app.focus and also pass in an object that has a steel key set to true. Now quit the app, restart it again. And now if we show the app again, it should also get focused. So this is how you build a really simple electron application tray that does something with your app. We can extend this with a quit as well.
so we don't forget to quit the app or we don't have to go to the dock and quit it from there. So let's add another object here with the ID quit. Label is also quit and I misspelled it just like the first time. So inside the click callback, we are going to do only this app.exit that's going to close the application. Let's start the app. And if we click quit, it should close and disappear from the dock. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.